Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Andrea and in this video I'm going to be walking you through a overview of a model driven app and dynamics. So I'll be walking you through what you can do with your personalized settings, how you can create a personal view, how to do different filters, add columns to your view, how to filter by those columns and how to share those views with your colleagues. Let's get started. All right, so let's go over some of those cool things we can do as a user within the model driven app that will make your business so much better and so much smoother on a day to day basis. So if you're new here, welcome. This is just a very broad overview of model driven apps. Um, you can also do the same thing in dynamics. So I am using my feedback app here. Um, this is my feedback admin model driven app. I have two tables on the left side here, people and HR people. And I have just a few rows of data here for each. The first thing I'm gonna show you is some of the personalized settings within the model driven app. If you go over to this little gear icon and click on personalized settings, it will open up the settings for you. This is super personal to you and will only affect your view. So first things, the default pane, this will kind of default to whatever area that you want it to default to. In this case, we only have one, but some organizations have multiple and sometimes it defaults to one that you might not wanna see on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when you first open it up. So you can actually choose what area you want it to default to every time you open up the app, and you can choose the tab that you want it to default to every time you open it. I'm gonna leave it as people because that's the main table. You can also personalize the amount of records you see per page. So if you actually wanna see more data, then you can choose the 250 records per page. That way you don't have to continue to go to the next page for all of the different views and grids. The next thing is the time zone. This is important because the time within any of the date fields or date columns that you see within your model driven app are going to be affected by this. So if I have Eastern time and I'm in Pacific time, I don't want to have to do the math every time for three hours ahead when I am in my app. So make sure that you adjust your time zone straight away when you first start using your model driven app. Those are a good starting point. You can continue to go through these and change any other personalized settings you might need to change. The next thing I want to show you is this little recent and pinned items on the left side. This is neat because you will be able to go back to what you recently just clicked within your model driven app without having to go and search the same keyword or search the columns here. You'll be able to go directly there. And even better, if you are actively working on a specific record, you can actually pin that and it will show up under your pinned um, uh, tab here. So you won't even have to go into recent. You'll always have this underpinned. Another neat thing is you can actually export any of these grids for any of these left hand side navigation tabs here. So if I want to export this grid here to Excel, I can actually do that right from this interface here. I can open it in Excel online, a static worksheet, so on and so forth. The other neat thing is as a user, you can actually edit the columns within any of these grids and save it as a view and share it with your colleagues. You can even edit the filters within this grid. So if I click on edit filters, I'm actually able to edit any of these filters. So let's see what I wanna do. Say I wanna only filter this view to engineers. So I'll add a row. I'll select title, title equals, I'll say contains and apply. There we go. Usually you'll have more data, but for this example, this works. 
And then once you click on that export to Excel, it will only download the filtered view that you have here. Another thing to notice is this asterisk that shows up next to the view name. This asterisk will show up when you have edited the, the grid and it'll show you that it is not the default grid that comes from Power Apps. It is something that you have edited. So let's remove this filter here and let's edit the columns. So say I want to add who created the record here. Maybe I want to add the HR person lookup and maybe I want to add the organization. That gets added to this list here and this list here is the way that it is sorted across the board here. So if I want to move HR person up here, the created by to the bottom and the organization right here, I can do that. Once I hit apply, you'll see that it immediately changes the columns to what you have selected. Same thing here. Once you have edited your columns and added, you can export to Excel and it will only export the things that you have edited here by columns or filters. Another cool thing is you can actually sort or filter by any of the columns here as well. So you don't even have to go up to the edit filters. So if I want to see only engineers here, I can do that just by doing the filter from the column. You can filter by any of the columns, as many columns as you want, if you want to continue to trickle down on the data. Okay, so now that we have our filters, how we want them with the different columns that we want, let's go ahead and save this view. So I clicked on this little drop down next to the view, next to the asterisk, and I'm gonna click on save as a new view. And I'm gonna give this a new name. Now there's no asterisk, this has been saved, and we can actually share this view with our colleagues. So same drop down, and instead of that save as new view, you'll click on manage and share views. And now I can click on the ellipsis here and click on the share button. And I'll be able to share it with any of my team members that have access to the model driven app. You'll notice this little person next to it. That just means that I've created this view or somebody has created this view. And if I want to make this my default, you can set it as the default view so that it always populates first when you open up the table on the left. And that is my model driven app slash dynamics overview. Let me know if you want to see more cool tips and tricks about dynamics and model driven apps, and I'm happy to create another video. Thanks.